Hello students, in this video we'll discuss nominal rates of interest. If I is the effective annual rate of interest, this implies that P will turn into P of 1 plus I after one year. Okay, that's what annual interest is. Now what I want to do is I want to find the notion of nominal rate of interest. We say that I M is the nominal rate of interest compounded m times per year. And what does this mean? This means exactly that we have the following relationship between annual interest and nominal interest. The nominal interest, p, will go to, after one year, will go to p, 1 plus i m, over m to the power m. So we can see from these two relationships that this is after one year. After one year, that's exactly what the m, that's the definition of i m, the nominal rate of interest. After one year, you accumulate to this. So we see from these two uh, representations over here that we have a following equivalent representation. We see that we have the relationship that one plus i is equal to 1 plus i m over m to the power of m. So when they give you a nominal rate of interest in a problem, you always need to divide that nominal rate of interest i m by the number of compounding periods m in the problem. Now, this gives us a relationship between i m and i. Let's look at this a little bit carefully. Let me just assume for the, for the for sake of simplicity that m is an integer. And if m is an integer, we can get some relationship between i and i m. So I can use the binomial expansion. If I binomial expand this, binomial expansion, let me remind you what the binomial expansion is. The binomial expansion for 1 plus x to the power k is 1. That's the first term. And then we're going to have a kx. And then we're going to have a k choose 2 x squared and so on. Okay, that's the binomial expansion, and it will end all the way up at what? It ends all the way at the last term of the binomial expansion is just going to be x to the power k. Okay? All right, so if I use the binomial expansion here, I'm just going to write the first couple terms. Um, we'll have a 1, that's always the first term, plus m times i m over m, plus the other terms. And these other terms over here are positive, right? So these terms over here are positive. positive terms. So what do we have? We have that 1 plus i is equal to is equal to 1 plus i m plus other positive terms over here. So the 1 will cancel out on both sides of the equation and so i is equal to i m plus other things which exactly means that i is greater than i m. So i, the effective annual rate of interest, is always greater than the mth nominal rate of interest. That's an important relationship between effective annual interest and effective nominal interest. Let's see a quick example of this. Let's find the quarterly rate of interest. So this is, of course, a nominal rate of interest with m equals 4. So this is really nothing more than just i4 is what the effective quarterly interest is. I4, if 1,000 accumulates to 1,200 after three years. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll know, we'll note that 1,200 is equal to 1,000, 1 
plus i4 over 4. And then it's over a comp it's over three years. So how many quarters there are? there are four quarters in a year? So over three years is gonna be 12 quarters. So I have 12 quarters over here. And now this is an algebraic equation we can solve for um, I4. And so how do we do? We'd first divide by a thousand, take the twelfth root, subtract one, multiply by four, and that would be our answer. And if you plug this into the calculator, what you'll see is you'll see in this example, I4 is approximately equal to 6.1. So this is what nominal interest means. Nominal interest, the mth nominal interest, always means that this relationship is satisfied, that 1 plus i, which is the rate of interest growth, the effective annual rate of interest, is equal to 1 plus i m over m raised to the power m. When you're doing these problems in financial mathematics, it's oftentimes very important to understand that if you're given the nominal rate of interest, you must always divide by m when you're equating it to an equivalent annual rate of interest. Thank you very much.